way down to UWM. And on our quest to find information about the sex offender registry. Indeed we are. There's your host. <laughs> <laughs> and the old stadium where the Brewers will lose how many games this year? <laughs> a whole hell, of a whole hell of a lot of games. But at least they won't have Jaha helping them lose. That's for sure. Did they get that thing up on there yet? Yeah, the, the second piece. They're working on getting the third piece up now. On the road. Beautiful downtown Milwaukee and the Marquette Interchange. <laughs> Then <laughs> we can ask the cop about it. Yeah, they should know about the sex offender industry. They should. What we're going to do today on our journey is find out what people uh, around this, these parts know about uh, the Wisconsin sex offender registry and get some opinions on it. Maybe there might be somebody we can just walk in their office and start talking to them. I don't know. We'll see. Could be. stuck in here. <laughs> mm, that looks pretty closed up. Pretty good. Oh. Looking around. Not a, lot, not a lot of people around here today. I'm doing a, I'm in a policy class for the grad school here. Mm -hmm. And uh, our group is doing, a, we're, we're finding out uh, more about the sex offender registry mm -hmm. in Wisconsin. Do you know anything about the sex offender registry? Have you been upstairs to the No, no. Well, that, we're starting out here since oh, I'm a yeah. social work major. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go upstairs. Um, I don't know if anybody's upstairs. Do you know anything about it at all? Mm -hmm. No. Have you tried calling the Department of Corrections? No, no. We're just we're kind of like getting a view oh, out on the okay. just out yeah. walking around and mm -hmm. talking to people. We got the camera there and we're. Are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try the Department of Corrections. We'll go up. We'll go up to criminal justice then and see. Do you have, see if they have some numbers for you. Do you have any opinions on it? On the sex offender. Sex offender. Do you feel, for instance, for example, a convicted? Uh, sex phone after he serves his time when he gets out, do you feel it's fair to put his picture on the news and like post it all over the neighborhood where he's moving in? How do you feel about something like that? Well, I believe that people uh, within that community where he'll be living have a right to know. Okay, good enough. Thank you. We're going to head to criminal justice now. Okay. Thank you. It's criminal justice, what is it? School of Library. Hey, we're in the wrong section. <laughs> There's criminal justice on that end, so we don't need to go that way? <coughs> Are you criminal justice? No. No, so then you wouldn't have any information on what the Wisconsin Act 440 is for me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No? You know anything about the sex offender registry? If you get to the office, just go down those steps there. Then you'll see the office of criminal justice. Which way? Right down that door. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. we're coming on in the office. <laughs> okay. Do you know what the Wisconsin Act 440 is? Uh, the sex offender registry. That's, um, that's correct. Well, only because you didn't mention it. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> on top of things today. Um, I know a little bit about it. I don't know. Okay, well, what, what do you know about the sex offender registry? Um, well, I know it's a big issue down uh, with the Department of Corrections. Um, I used to work for the Department of Corrections this last summer, and um, it's, it's an entirely new concept, and they're still trying to learn where its place is in the Department of Corrections. I know that's okay. 
Yeah, it's uh, beginning, that was started June uh, 1st of 97, that was when sex uh, offender, like, people that committed a felony had to begin to register. That's when it all got going. Um, what kind of information do you think you need? If you, like, call the hotline to find out if someone was a sex offender, what kind of information do you think you need to find out if that person was a sex offender? Um, you mean, like, if I called a specific name, I said... Yeah, what kind of information would you Joe think? Flo is, you know, just to see what, what would I need from, yeah. the, from the line. Um, for, for my personal purposes, I would assume I would just want to know whether or not he was an offender, and I don't think that his offense would be something that should be public information, but I think it is, isn't it? Uh, that's that's kind of an opinion, I guess. So what? How do you feel about that? I mean, if uh, someone is a sex offender, they've served their time, they get out, they're going to get back into the community. Right. Do you think that they should uh, have their picture posted up all over the neighborhood and put on the news like it is now? I think that if I were a parent, if I had a child, um, I would be a lot more concerned. Um, I think that the criminal justice system, its punishment is supposed to be prison and the sentence that the people serve, and once they're finished with their sentence, they should kind of come back into society at a, at a fresh start. But at the same time, I'm also very convinced about sex offenses. And I think that, um, like I said, if I had a child, I'd be very interested to know exactly what kind of um, real rehabilitation the guy went through, what kind of punishment, what his sentence actually was, if I think I mean, I guess coming from a criminal justice background, mm -hmm. if I think that was ample for his crime and okay. what he had done. But I also think that that's personal information. So I just kind of buy it. Let's say that you found out that your neighbor was a sex offender, for example. You know, you just found out by chance, maybe even you call the line because you're a little nosy or something, you mm -hmm. find out your neighbor's a sex offender, would you try to get him to leave? No. Would you no. tell other people, other neighbors? Um, probably. Not out of concern, I don't think. Um, it depends. On, actually, I think it would be would be beneficial to have what he had done because I do know from working at the Department of Corrections that there were some cases that were just bogus, like a guy, like I don't, you know, first degree sexual assault we, compared to third degree sexual assault, and it's like somebody making a, a rude comment to somebody can mm -hmm. actually have to list as a sex offender or a kid who had uh, sex with a 16 year old or something that was was consensual, but he actually got charged with the crime, I think that in that case it wouldn't be anything that would be of concern, but if it was some, like a rape charge, then I think it would be of more concern. Okay. Uh, since you're a criminal justice uh, major, yeah, graduate, okay. student. graduate student, um, you know what an absconder is? Yes. What is an absconder? An absconder is a person who has, is out on parole or probation and just skips from a sentence. I bet you're the only person that's going to be able to tell me that all day. <laughs> 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 and my, my last question for you. What other kind of registries would you like to see? Would you like to see other registries? Hmm. Since you have a sex offender registry, um, right. what kind of other registries? If you could think of any. Gosh, off the top of my head. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't would ever utilize any of the registries. I'm not, I guess I'm not a nosy person, and I just trust. I mean, I know that I live amongst characters and some, and I don't, I don't over, I wouldn't, <laughs> you gotta get the uh, reaction on that. Um, but uh, at the same time, they, they also are, it's a free world, and that's okay. the beauty of this Good enough for me. Thank okay, you very much for yeah, your time. Good luck, you bet. You got a couple of questions?